Hi, my name is Fabiana Hargreaves da Costa. I'm 38 years old. I was born in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, but for the past eight years, I've been living in Oslo, Norway. I am also a mom and I have a daughter who's five years old. I have a bachelor in fashion design, but since university, I had a strong passion for sustainability. So I wanted to understand more about the textile sectors impacting the environment. So due to that, I did an specialization in textile engineering, an MBA in environmental management, an executive master in green growth, and some others in circular economy. Today, I work in a big secondhand chain here in Norway as a buyer and a project coordinator. During all my life, I couldn't understand why we were living the way we are or how it became that way. Why we have to behave like machines, going to school, marrying, finding a job, buying a house and so much stuff. So many whys and hows that I couldn't understand and answer. Even though I was quite good at school, I never studied or had any real interest or motivation to give my best or really be functional because I never understood its system. But due to that, I felt so much insecurity. Everyone around me would tell me that I was a dreamer. Everything I said was completely utopic and I needed to simply adjust to reality. They would say, you just have to, that's how life is. So I felt so alone and doubtful of myself. And as a consequence, so openly angry and intense towards my closest ones. So in the previous two years before finding Jeremy Griffith's explanation of the human condition, I felt I was drowning more and more and I was reaching desperation point, having all kinds of stress related issues. So I literally dove into all the pseudo idealistic movements and anesthetics of the brain, yoga, meditation, spirituality, and all its ramifications for trying to accept, surrender, forgive, and let go. But life was unbearable. My relationship with my close people, and especially with my daughter at the middle of everything was difficult and everything felt too much. I would blame everyone around me for everything. And my stress was reverberating to the most precious person in the world to me. Then seven months before I found Jeremy's work, I also lost my father, very sudden. The world got even worse as I couldn't ever believe that it could. I lost the only person that could make me feel safe and secure, protected in this mad world. So after a few months, I reached desperation and reached bottom. And after trying everything, I simply woke up one day and said, this is not working. The world was not supposed to be like that. There must be something completely wrong or I am literally crazy. So I typed in Google world transformation and the WTM website appeared and also a video from Stefan Rausle from the WTM Austria Center with the biggest and most genuine smile I had ever seen. So I watched it and I couldn't believe it. It had to be real. That person couldn't be faking or pretending to sell another false healing package or anything on that direction. I dove into the WTM website, read the Transform Your Life booklet during one weekend, saw videos one to four and 14 in a few days, and in the process sent Stefan a message and my journey started. I've since watched the interview and read Jeremy's definitive book, Freedom, The End of the Human Condition. And I have just been blown away by the explanation power of this information. If I have to explain the pattern of the journey, it was with a lot of ups and downs, but the downs were never with desperation. I felt grounded like never before. Now I see they were due to confrontation, which is to be expected given we've necessarily had to live in deep denial of the issue of the human condition until we could be solved. And especially due to the fact that I was a mother, it was difficult to let go of the burden and the resistance to acknowledge that I was an imperfect one and that I wouldn't be able to save my daughter and be the mother that she deserved because I was so damaged, understandably as a result of the human condition like all of us. 
the madness that was protecting me from my underlying fears about how I was impacting my daughter was in my face and I couldn't change it, at least in the anxiety-driven pace that I wanted. But that is the pivoting moment and the paradox of all this, as Jeremy says, and these are by far the most important quotes from him on my breakthrough into unlocking the liberation and the relief that this information can provide us in this transitional phase in humanity's journey. We can transition from being victims of the human condition to becoming secure, sound, effective managers of our world. And in connection to what I could provide to my daughter, what happened in our lives was not the problem so much as our inability to understand why it was happening. If we knew why it was happening, we could cope with it honestly. We could avoid becoming upset. So then in that day, when I acknowledged the depth of those affirmations, everything changed. Literally in the blink of an eye. In that moment, I realized that our brains are machines All we needed was a manual to understand what it actually is and how it works. All we needed was understanding of why things are the way they are, why everything is a mess. Because once we understand and acknowledge that, a new world truly and literally opens up. We are so much lighter. We can see things as they are. We can see people as true heroes to be navigating this world without understanding its logic. Literally just trying to survive and everything is pretending, but at the same time for a good reason. We needed to march into hell for a heavenly cause. And last, but definitely not least, the transformation process that understanding the human condition makes possible. Living and experiencing it is just unimaginable. This is the path to joy and freedom that everyone is looking for. That is the real deal. For me, the moment I really started understanding the depth of the human condition from a macro perspective, and consequently how big the elephant in the room or our denial is, was when I was able to truly acknowledge my own egocentricity, my own upset and alienation, the human condition within me, and that it was all understood and explained. I will never forget that day. That is the moment where we start to live again and stop just surviving and coping with the human condition. The feeling that I have is that now, at the age of 38, I have a second chance to live. Because once you feel and know that, that angry and upset version of you starts to fade and you can start seeing who you really are. I can look at myself, my habits, my patterns, my true package of behavior with all the patience in the world because now I'm grounded and I know that everywhere I look and decide to explore and work on will be with grace, with love and compassion because I truly know that I am good and everyone around me is good too. Our fundamental worth has been biologically explained and it just happens naturally, no forcing, no effort in trying to control your behavior. The transformed state starts with a deep understanding of ourselves, which is what pseudo-idealistic moments lack and subsequent awareness acknowledgement and true empowerment and we are then free to live for the incredible future before us just like a butterfly breaking out of its chrysalis and on that you will see how it becomes possible for the whole humanity to be realigned with our cooperative and loving instincts and integrative meaning once again so for all that i have no doubt that jeremy's work did it This is the only thing that can save us. The battle to understand ourselves with each of the 8 billion people around the world and all the people that lived in this planet before us is over. We can now understand ourselves and we are free at last. Thanks to Jeremy's integrity, clarity, and perseverance. The bravery and soundness of one unresigned mind. That is why I'm sure that all I want to do from now on is to support the WTM in whatever way I can, 
to spread this information to every human on earth. So to do that, I'm opening a WTM center in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, my home country, and would be very pleased to support anyone that wants to discover Jeremy's liberating healing biological explanation of the human condition. So explore, feel free, read and connect to us, to our work and reach out whenever you need. I am here and willing to hear from you and support as much as I can. Muito obrigada.